All right, again, this is the uh, 99 seal K320. Today I'm gonna do the uh, valve cover gaskets. Um, this side, the passenger side here is leaking on the bottom, in the middle here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I was gonna do this side, man, but I might as well do both sides. It makes no sense to, to um, do one side. You know, if you're already in motion, might as well just do both sides. Um, another thing too, man, you gotta get OEM. Don't get aftermarket stuff. You know, a lot of stuff like gaskets and stuff like that for um, Mercedes. In the aftermarket department, don't get them. You know, just invest the extra 10 bucks and, and get them from the dealer. These were like 50 bucks, man, but it's, it's worth it. You know, you're getting OEM, all right? All right, first thing we gotta do is we gotta take this air box out. I already took it off already. I loosened it up, here it goes. This guy, you gotta loosen this guy up here. Carefully, you don't wanna rip that hose, it's probably dry rot it. And then this part of the tube has to come out, the intake. And um, I don't know if you can make out, but uh, you see that little bolt right there, that little torque head, that's gotta come off. That's what's gonna loose, allow me to take this tube out. All right, um, I'm gonna take advantage. Since I gotta take all this stuff off, I'm gonna just go ahead and replace the spark plugs too. Change the spark plugs. Um, before you do that, as with it, any other car, you wanna take it, blower, go in there, out from inside there and then you want to get something like this with a curve on it there's a this is a mercedes mercedes makes a tool for this which is a 17 millimeter it's a bent 17 millimeter wrench man but you can use something like this if you got something on it just pry gently be careful with it and just pry, pry it out carefully there you go all right let's see what condition this bitch is in doesn't look too bad. All right, that's what it looks like in there. See that spark plug in there? All right, so I'm gonna just replace all 12 spark plugs on. This is off. I, I took all these um, bolts off from in here. I labeled them front, so I won't get them confused. All these will come off. I don't know, is this making sense to you? It's making sense to me. All right, just remember when you take the coils off, mark it right here. Just put a little piece of, you know, tape or something. You mark front, middle, and rear. Um, and always remember the top, the top wire goes to the outside, the front of the spark plug. Each um, cylinder has two spark plugs. This is the rear, bottom one. This is the, this one's the front, which is this one here, and this one's at the back of it. Remember, each cylinder has two spark plugs. The top wire goes to the one that's in front of it, towards the front of the car. It's a no-brainer. There's a spark plug in there. I bet it's in the wedge, man. All right, I want to show you this one here. This is the middle coil pack. Look at all the oil that's in there. When I pulled this out, it was dripping. You see the drippings right there. It dripped out of here. You see how coated that is with oil in there. Coming from the valve cover gasket. You see how gunked up it is. Shake my damn head. Let me see if I can get the camera in there. You can almost see the oil inside there. That's probably loaded with oil inside there. Probably fouling up the spark plug. There's a, it's a good thing I had spark plugs there if I could change it. Shit. All right, putting this gasket on, you gotta be really, really careful. Man. Make sure you got it packed in good all the way around. Especially in this part right here. See this here? You also wanna make sure that it's flush. It goes all the way down. I already 
sealed up this bottom part right here. I didn't have the black RTV, man, but this is high time. It works just fine. Uh, make sure this is all packed in. Yeah, good there. Alright. No leak. Going good. Been running for about a half hour now. All right, at this point, I put everything back together. Everything is torqued down the specs. I just felt it was gonna need to show you, no leaks. you know, putting everything back in reverse. But everything was smooth. The spark plugs. Happy camper now. Nice and true.